So that was Komachas. It was fantastic. I'm telling you, I loved every minute of it. We've just left Komachas. And if you look at our map, we'll be heading towards Springbok which is about a 40 kilometer drive on a completely tarred road all the way and we've just heard that we might be or we will be crossing a pass yes what's the pass's name spectacle pass <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, not so little. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you <laughs> freak out about that. They can squash you one time. They say, Here's another little rock fall. <laughs> Experimental section in Euro polymer stabilized road, 50 millimeter depth. 1% stabilization constructed in 2005 and this is you can see the change in the road there the road surface so that piece of road now is the experimentation but since 2005 I think they've got enough data now I think they forgot the board yeah. but why have they told us to only drive 50 kilometers yeah. 50 kilometers an hour the whole time. That's very really low for a tar road. Yes. Yeah, we're approaching the Spectacle Pass and we've got a nice story we'd like to tell you about this pass. We do. David in Komachas explained to us that Simon van der Stel, the first governor of the Dutch Cape Colony, was on an inland expedition here in the 1600s by wagon. And what happened was is as he came over this mountain and he saw the view from the top of this mountain, he said, what a spectacle. And that's how the pass got its name. The spectacle pass. How amazing is that? Yeah. It is truly a spectacular pass. Beautiful. Springbok. Wow, is it? Yeah, I Ooh. thought. Yo. This is a very, very big place. Yeah. As you know, the two of us like to explore the smaller places, and Springbok is not a small place. We felt we had to come and see it because we were in Amakuland. We took a drive through 
and we would like to show you what we saw in the time we had available in town and we hope you enjoy. Uh, we normally travel through the main streets, but this town's a bit bigger <laughs> than we normally do, so let's take a drive down the main street and see what happens. I think our goal is to find a place uh, for dinner. Yes. And see what we can get to take back to our place. Yeah. Just very, very big. We won't even see a half a percent. Half of, of it, it, yeah. So we'll just see what we can see. Definitely, and there's the Namakoland High School. Cool is this? <laughs> Anglican Church. Yeah. Gorgeous. Stonework would catch our eye. Definitely. That is stunning. So beautiful, eh? Yeah, very. Primary school. Oh, the Springbok Primary School.
nice and yellow, yeah? Yes. Hey, look at this. Oh, this is pretty, eh? <gasps> it's the stonework. And the glass. I can't see the glass. Oh, there, look at the patterns. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Can one take a drive around? I think we can. Looks, looks so familiar. Yes.
Okay, here's another church. This one's a bit mod. Also Dutch reformed. Oh. Check those rocks up front there. I love it. Imagine having that in your backyard. Right? Crazy. Okay, we're heading out of Springbok and we are heading to our accommodation uh, for the evening. I'm actually looking forward to that. Yeah, I think it's going to be nice and uh, yeah, we have eight minutes to get there. I don't want to make our host wait any longer. Yes. All right. The board said 2.3 kilometers down this road. Okay, cool. Bergebiet Lodge. Yes. Nice. Benvenuto. similar to a farm stay. Yes, I thought it's like not too far out of town. And the little dog is coming to help them, I'm careful. Yes. Reception. We had just checked in at reception and yeah, we were driving up to our log cabin, number one. I'm sitting here on our porch of our beautiful little house with this view in front of me. I'm telling you, you can't beat it.
We had stopped in Springbok to buy some dinner and uh, there were several options but both of us absolutely love chicken a la king with some rice and we decided that that would be just perfect for that evening. And then of course Curtis couldn't get over the fact that we are having dinner on the stoop of our own log cabin with this spectacular view. Well, I lost the sound over here again. I was trying to say that we had an incredible day and it was a full day and we did some fantastic gravel roads, but it was time for us to crash. It's just after five. We've just woken up and it's um, just getting light and it's so beautiful out here. Oh, birds are waking up. I'm still groggy, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Good morning. I just sat here now on this stoop of ours enjoying a beautiful sunrise. And um, can I make us a cup of coffee and get ready to hit the road? I want to take a walk through the few chalets here. It's about a bit lodge. You know, this is where we stayed last night at number one. But this is the rest of the place. It is so calm. And it's about roughly about 10 kilometers just on the N7 south of Springbok.
They even have little pools here, which is fantastic. Security. This is so nice. Definitely spend a week here. Yeah. Can my soul is rejuvenated after like 14 hours? Yeah. Can you imagine after a week? <sighs> Telling you. Now it's a good place. Just that view. Yeah. Alone. Spergebiet, eh? Spergebiet. I still wanted to look up what it means, but now okay. it's load shedding and we don't have signal. Yeah. What fantastic people! Yeah, really stunning. He calls this place their prison with an open door. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard that before? Never, no. Oh. But this is fantastic. Though. What an interesting stay we had and also the drive through we had in Springbok was quite nice. Yeah, absolutely. It's a huge town though. Yeah, massive huge. town, yes. But yeah, we'll see Springbok some other time again.